Hello again. So, carrying on from my video yesterday on Council of Nicaea. Here's all the, the lovely church fathers having a meeting in 325 AD, in case you wondered. Here's a quick rundown again of some of the myths that people like to perpetrate, and I'll give a short explanation of each one. So, number one, the Council of Nicaea decided which books went into the Bible. Eh, wrong. The Doctrine of the Trinity was invented at the Council by Constantine. Eh, wrong. Constantine changed the Sabbath. Eh, wrong. And Constantine, again, he gets a lot of blame here, blended all of the Roman and pagan religions together into this great amalgamation of faith and called it Christianity. Eh, wrong again. And of course, everyone's favourite, St. Nicholas slapped Arius in the face. Sometimes you might see this meme around Christmas, which I do like to share because it's quite funny. But it's also historically inaccurate. Okay, so the Canon New Testament wasn't decided at Nicaea. Nicaea had nothing to do with the selection of books. Also, there was no council or synod or any meeting whatsoever in the history where they all sat down and said, right, this, 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 and this, this book is going to be in the New Testament, and all of those ones aren't. That just didn't happen. In fact, it was just a collection of texts that were often listed and written by people and said, these are the ones we trust, these are the ones the communities are using. We know they've been handed out by apostles, blah, blah, blah. We have Athanasius' list later on, about 397, I think. He writes a list which includes the 27 books, which is kind of solidifies it but it was never like a formal this is it as for the trinity it's wrong to say it was invented at nicaea though it'd be more accurate to say it was defined better there there was more technical language used to uh, explain it and sort of nail down that doctrine but it was accepted way before nicaea I mean, like Justin Martyr in 150 was writing about it, and that was like, what, 150 years-ish before the council? And also, Sabbath was never changed. It was always known to be Saturday. Sunday became the Lord's Day. That was when Christians met together and worshipped because of the resurrection being on that day. So they celebrated the day Jesus came back to life. And just quickly, Arius slapping Nicholas. Nicholas probably wasn't actually at the council from the surviving records that we have of who attended. Uh, but it came from a 14th century legend.